My church is the open road. It's me, God, and the highway. I'm Heidi Van Horn. I'm a working actress, an independent filmmaker, an author and car columnist for the Houston Chronicle, and an internationally known pinup model. I spend most of my days writing about cars, taking photos, auditioning, making movies, and traveling and appearing at car events around the world. I'm a Texas girl who's been living in Los Angeles for almost 14 years now. And my life doesn't suck. Don't call me baby because you don't know me. I am a woman in every degree. I'll make you tremble, I'll make you sweat. You ain't seen nothing yet. But that's not to say it's easy. And like a lot of people I know, the past few years have been pretty tough on me personally and professionally. And they've also been pretty tough on Molly, my 1960 Ford F100 pickup truck. It seems like for too long now, I've just been getting by, trying to make ends meet and keep it all together. But when Molly finally took a turn for the worse, I knew it was time to take her to the only mechanics I really trust, my family. So, I trailed her halfway across the country, back home to Houston, to set about rebuilding her with my dad. Say cheese. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. My brother. Watch the rotor. And my 14-year-old nephew. Over the next eight weekends, we're gonna deconstruct and rebuild my Molly, and try not to make each other crazy in the process or crazier. No power steering. Eater, 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 eater. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Whatever. You want a fab in here? No, go okay, ahead. Okay, well then, then six inches it is. <laughs> okay. It's a whole world seeing the little yellow lines. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That way. I made all the rivets on that. And pull the radiator. So you got room to maneuver. Heidi the riveter. Huh? I said Heidi the riveter. I made the brace for that. Okay. Good work, Heidi. Why did you? Oh, okay. It was wider than. <laughs> no torque. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be getting paid some of these, one of these days. Okay. One day like a grown-up. <laughs> like a grown-up! <laughs> You're making me nervous, dude. That's so close to But I'm in Texas. And my truck, for the first time ever, is in Texas. And I'm one step closer to getting it fixed and one step closer to seeing family. So, all in all, doing well, hanging in there. Hope I have enough money in my bank account to get us there. <laughs> but we got the hotel tonight, so I think we're good. Either that or my rent check's gonna bounce. Whatever. I can't even blow off the show because now I need it for content for an article I have to write Sunday night in a car on the way to New Orleans and turn it in before Monday morning and edit and do voiceover. And I have an engine that I'm worried about and a transmission I have to finish. Why don't you guys go take a break to get something to eat? I'll go to the house, get the, the thing I have to re pick stuff up and the magnet and the fuel pump, the vacuum pump. Now, if we're not lined up, then what we're going to have to do is we're not going to pull the engine. We have enough room there to pull a pan and see what's going on. 
I don't want to do it, but if we have to, we have to. Money, time, help, all would be good right now. And I don't have a lot of any of them. So what'd you hear from the engine guy? So they, it had a cracked cylinder head, and they were, he had a hard time finding one to replace it. It's kind of funny though to go from pulling apart a transmission one day to the next day, hanging out with rich people and drinking really expensive drinks and eating expensive food and wearing expensive things and it's kind of ridiculous but that's my life. It's funny though because you love the West Coast but you always come back to Texas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to get a chance to spend two months back home. I can tell you it's probably only going to be for bad things. At least this way, like, I'm getting to come back and work on a fucking my truck with my family and rebuild it and like, none of us are here forever, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the funny thing, like, people were like, oh, girls like bad boys. Like, whatever, fuck that. I don't like bad boys because of all the bullshit reasons people say they like bad boys. I like bad boys because they can keep up with me. When I get drunk, it is right on the same lines as... I think last time we hung out, you got arrested. He did. I'm just saying. And it's, it's not the only man that I've heard that from. <laughs> it's hard finding someone that gets all sides of me because... Nobody does. Huh? I'm a weirdo. I like that I can kind of be nomadic and come into all these different groups and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it definitely makes it a hard fit for somebody to fit into my life. So my life's kind of crazy and all over the place. And that's why I love it. But I guess it makes me a strange puzzle piece to fit. With the help of my family and my friends, I'm wrenching, rebuilding, and putting Molly and myself back together again. This is my story, our story, Molly's and mine. I think good things are ahead. I believe that. I have to. <laughs> Why don't you come along for a ride? Gotta leave it behind, open my mind. Fire the face and I really have to close the door. Fire won't burn anymore. I think you got all more than more than I even planned on getting. And I will accept your money. Could I cancel my time under this light? Situations they like and there's no need to pray. In black. I shed that book, I burn it today. Gotta take my own way and never look back.